The Philippines, where 16 cities make up massive Metro Manila. 7,600 plus islands of beaches and amazing, incredible nightlife everywhere you turn. And Filipinas, all kinds of Filipinas in all shapes and sizes. One of the deadliest fighting martial arts styles in the world, Combat Arnis. Did I mention the beaches? Did I mention the nightlife? Philippines lifestyles got it all, even completely off the grid. That's the Venice Canal Mall. Those are the McKinley condos there, right? Like walking distance. You could be living there for six or 700 or 800 bucks a month, or here. The wire too. <laughs> the charming Baron guy. Oh my God. The wire. Let's take a look. Garden too. <laughs> yeah, it's like nice little roof decks filled with gardens. Like you can't have that in a condo, you know? There's another one. That's my thing. I'm all about roof deck gardens. Plenty of these as neighbors. Don't worry about that. It is true. I do a lot of shopping in these little side carts. Here we go. Street squid, baby. That's the Esau, which is essentially... Oh, this is fried. Chicken intestine dipped in vinegar. How? Palatable. So Dito Ang An, the literal translation is hear the way. Pero if it said Ang Taman Daan, that would mean you're walking the correct path. In other words, you're walking this way. with Jesus. No. Taman Daan, the correct way. Walk with Jesus. This way. Tama, tamang. Actually, it means correct. It means proper, this correct, way, or like the, the right this. way. So if I said, uh, I don't know, it's two plus two, four, they would say tama, right? That's correct. On tam and on the correct way, or walking with the Lord, which they do here in the Philippines. The large contingency of super religious, single unwed mothers in church on Sunday, you know, uh, following on tam and on, obviously, except, except in the bedroom at night, going undercover here in the Philippines to expose big shawarma. I mean, big pharma. Hold on. So anyway, shawarma in the Philippines is uh, buy one, get one. So that's two jumbo shawarma for 125 pesos. That's $2. It's not bad. Vice Bar and Bistro, and relatively new. It's on the bottom of Ebro Street. And Ebro Street has a couple of really interesting restaurants and bars. I'm going to check that out a little bit tonight. So Cabrones is roof deck here, which is above Polilia which is a little craft beer, craft cocktail bar. And then that's the Wicked Dogs, where you can get the cheapest booze, basically, in Poblacion. <laughs> this is where we're going for dinner. This is Cow Kai. This is the Thai chicken house. This is why I like Poblacion. Great little hole-in-the-wall restaurant. They specialize in Thai fried sweet chicken. If you're looking for Pad Thai, this isn't the place to go. You're going to want to check out a place like Thai North. Two blocks over on P. Burgo Street. Chicken green curry, sauteed vegetables, a pad, something Pinoy fusion, pad CU, yeah. That's right. This one is spicy shrimp soup. This is Pinoy Thai. What is it? Thai Noi. Thai Noi. Say it again. Thai Noi. Thai Noi. It is a Thai Pinoy fusion restaurant. Baba Ganoush. Filipino Mediterranean, gonna have to check this out. This is the wonderful thing about Poblacion. It's like, you never know what you're gonna find. Like here's another spot. We're just gonna blow in here and check that out. That place is pretty swank, like a nice, little uh, lounge style club, lounge singer, They're, they live band kind of groove. I like that little spot. I have to hit back up there, but there weren't any seats. And it's early, it's not even 11. Hello. Anyway, that's the kick-ass little coffee bar across from the other Thai restaurant. Got some serious beans in here. 
Brazilian, mm. Ethiopian, Peruvian, Mexican. Cody said he's the boy. That's my boy. Hey, right off the burger. <laughs> Cubana is a classic longtime bar right on P. Burger Street, great for people watching and smoking cigars. Fucking roof deck, bro. Some uh, obscure little bar with a roof deck and it's pumping inside and like, like always something new in Manila. Phoenix. So Publasha Makati is not just bar hopping. Not that you can't do that all night long because as you can see there are tons of spots and we haven't even scratched the surface the pinnacle of the nightlife party experience is always going to be in one of the few nightclubs here in poblacion this is club royal one of the oldest most established party clubs right in poblacion when we roll in just me and another guy on a night like tonight we opt for the standing tables because as you can see it is right in the mix super easy to mingle and connect and as usual you're going to find that there's more girls than guys in a place like this that's what i like to call a favorable ratio and you're often going to find that here in metro manila Three thirty in the morning. What's going on in Manila, boys? Hotties, bros, more hotties. Oh my God, talaga, talaga. The party doesn't stop when the nightclub closes, and they're usually open till five or six in the morning. There is a supreme after-hour spot here in Poblacion, Makati that's going to start jumping around 3 a.m. and isn't going to stop till like 9, 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. Manila is a late night town. Rolling out of Cigador on, Yo. I think it's Friday night, maybe Saturday morning, I don't know. Samago, Samago, I'm with my bro. Yeah. Motherfucking king. Hey, it's Dude. like 6 a.m. I think right now. And we're oh. rolling out of after hours. We call it early, bro. We call it early. Yeah, I gotta Let's fly out back. and I gotta fly out in hours. So we gotta go home at 6 a.m. so I can pack. Because normally we don't roll out till the sun comes up, but it's dark. There's so many levels of king in Manila. And let me just tell you, motherfucking king, bro. Hey, respect it. Mwah. The whole buco juice thing, like five fresh coconuts. <sighs> Nothing like coconut water after a night of drinking. One of the great things about the Philippines and the barangays in particular, these homemade bakeries. It's probably like four or five bakeries right in this little barangay area. Unfortunately, I have to avoid the bakeries too. It's just, uh, just can't do high glycemic index carbohydrates. The banana bread is to die for. You get a whole loaf here for like, I think it was 60 pesos. That's about a dollar. It's not bad. Hello, hello, hello. hello. These bad boys cost like a dollar and like 38 cents. All for all this. There's a lot of heartbreaking elements about Manila. But for me, my God, when a dog's suffering, it just breaks my heart. We took a deep dive into Manila's nightlife and an inside glance into what normal everyday barangay life is like. But don't forget for one second, the Philippines has thousands of beaches. It is amazing here.
Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and consider joining this channel as a member for all kinds of perks and extra members only videos.